what is going on youtube and welcome back to another video on my channel now today we're going to carry on watching sabrina this is season four episode seven so we've only got one more after this one and then the series is concluded so i'd like to thank every single person that's shown support on the channel so far continue to come back uh, watch my reactions you know like the videos leave comments i see them all thank you so much now if you have any other recommendations for any new tv shows please leave them below because i will read them i'm always on the lookout you know we've got cobra kai after this but you know I'm happy to upload anything that anybody enjoys, so please leave the comments below. Um, let's just jump into today's video. Hopefully, you guys have fun. If you do, please smash the like on the button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, thanks for clicking on my video. Let's just jump in and have some more fun. Give us darkness. I am the herald of the void. No, don't panic, but um, I think you may have fallen prey to the third eldritch terror of the weird. Could this be the imp of the perverse? The Limo are coming. The Rev no. The resurrected dead. The return. The latest Eldritch Terror, the cosmic. We'll bring the morning star from our Earth to the other Earth. So there's going to be some sort of thing. So Sabrina, I think that they're going to... The Sabrina that come from the, the Dark Realm and, and the Descent Away, I think that there's going to be... Um, she's going to return again in this episode. And we've just gone through the um, first six, I believe, uh, Eldritches. Um, and... To be honest, do any of you think that any of them have been really bad so far? Because personally, I don't. That last one, when the dead come up, they didn't do anything. They just had a a, a band concert. I mean, I, I'm not complaining. It was a great episode, but they didn't raise terror on anybody. Um, and I, I think the worst one was that, that, um, that octopus thing that went inside Sabrina. But so far, they, they've not actually been that scary and that hard to defeat have they they've been pretty easy so hopefully these last two episodes we get the the worst ones to come and the hardest ones and the one that create the most havoc in greendale oh here we go it looks like both of them worlds are combining again i knew it straight away she's back oh it's in the other okay we're in the parallel uncut <laughs> Hey, that was well good. Good work, Sabrina. That felt Oh, check how that was. To me. Father Blackwood. No need to be so formal. Call me Faustus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, fearless leader. We'll have her up to speed and prep for tomorrow's scenes. Very good, Hilda. Come on. Ambrose said this would be another cosmos similar to our own, but this always show up prepared for work. Work? Well, some people call it work. I call it super fun playtime. And three strikes will get you sent to the green room. What's the green room? Well, we don't exactly know, but people who are sent to the green room are never heard from again. The last Sabrina was sent there. An Eldritch Terror? An Eldritch what now? I have no idea what an Eldritch Terror is. I'm just pause it again. I'm assuming that in this in this realm that she's gone to, nobody is a witch, um, and they're just you know normal mortals, and she's the only witch inside this inside this realm. But I don't think so. I was sent here to this other cosmos on a mission in the hopes that my presence here would cause the cosmos to settle down and stop it from crashing into the original cosmos. Poor, poor little poopy. This is a lot to handle, isn't it? You know what? Let's just call it a night. Oh well, yeah, they're on set out there. I wonder if she could just walk off it. Nope, she's locked in. It's literally the whole place is just like a set. It's nothing's real. They're all props. Sabrina! You're needed on set at once. What? Melvin? What 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 is going on? Wow. What time is it? It's 445. Script pages are in your nightstand. Mirror right there. I think someone took it. Can you check? Yeah, I'll ask around, but Sabrina, we really need to get you moving. Excuses, we have many scenes before us, and I fully intend to make our day. Uh, Sabrina, I trust that you are fully up to speed with your lives. For your motivation, think Kafka. Are you kidding? <laughs> Let say me that. Add <laughs> about a fancy feast. You can talk. I did say I wanted Salem to speak, didn't I, in this season. Uh, I, I said that I'd be interested if he had subtitles or he actually spoke. Didn't expect it to come in the form of a dead stuffed cat, though. Salem's the star. Salem's the star? Uh-huh. Salem's the star. Yeah. 
a talking stuffed cat. Three strikes and, and it's the great great. Are we quite ready, ladies? Yep. Um, I mean, that's pretty harsh getting a strike just for getting one sentence wrong, for example. Like, surely you can't only do three line mistakes in the full day before you get kicked out. So I don't puke up my own hair, you big furball. Hey, now. That is a condition I've had since birth. <laughs> oh, no. That can't be good. Is that not just the same dates that was crossed off as last night? I wonder if she's losing her memory. One what? Oh. Check this cat. I thought it was stuffed. I had a mirror here. Now it's gone. Can I get it back? Your mirror? Is that all? No problem, oh kid. I'll track down your mirror. You'll figure it out. In the meantime, a word to the wise. Go with the flow. Now let me see about finding that mirror of yours. The math store? Ugh. <laughs> Wait, there's an entire store dedicated to math? I'm totally nerding out. And Carl, they locked me in the janitor's supply room again. It's like, came out of one closet and I just keep getting shoved back in another one. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. Leave it to What's the problem now? Uh, Harvey slipped some tongue. <laughs> while we were kissing. Very unprofessional. I mean, it's not like we're dating. What are you talking about? Of course we're dating. We're hashtag Habrina. We're always dating. No way they're referencing fucking real life hashtags. Not sure about that. I don't want hashtag Habrina. I want hashtag Nick Brina or whatever they're called. Like, they're so much better. And who's Caliban? Uh, can we try that again, Sabrina? Uh, this time, <laughs> make it a little sexier. Maybe I can help with that. <laughs> it's sick how they could just go right into a scene after talking. Wonderful! I just think it's mad, like, and it's such talent that you can just do that. I can just be stood still and say, action, boom, get straight into your old and court, boom, finished again, and just back onto your merry way. Like, honestly, it's such talent, especially when you see people who do funny things, like um, how people embarrass themselves or they scream, or people like Leonardo DiCaprio, who's actually sick at um, showing emotion and screaming and showing all the passion in the scenes, and then they just say cut, and then I bet he just goes, sweet, good scene, everyone, and then just walks off. It's crazy. Such talent acting. He's going in here, poopy. Well, so far my presence here has had zero impact on anything, so not great. I'm married. His name's Caliban. He's back she in the likes him. cosmos. He's a prince of hell, and I'm the queen of pandemonium. Oh, she actually um, loves a life. Okay. But whatever happened on your other shows, you're on this one now, and this show is a sweet gig. I wonder why, do you think that there's a significance to why they drink milk? Every single person, I've only seen them drink milk and eat tuna. Like, what is, what is that? Do you reckon that's because Salem is the cat? So obviously that's his favourite stuff, so everybody has to have it. Oh, here we go, the Eldritch Terrors on the wall. Harvey, what are those? What? Those drawings. Oh, the art department made those for me. I thought we don't get our script pages until the day of the scene. We don't. But Miss Warble has all the pages in her binder, mm. and it takes me a little longer to memorize my lines than most others. I mean, isn't it crazy if you only received your lines on the day that you film in the scene? I would not be able to memorize it. I can't even memorize like three words, so never mind a full script for a full show, especially on the morning of the day it's getting shot. Uh, in exchange for these powers, you have to give up everything else in your life your girlfriend. Oh. What would you do? Wait. That's literally what she's just done. This is so familiar are you my girlfriend in this scenario then no i wouldn't take them oh he said that as well in that scene didn't he really? there's no one flying in my life without you no first of all i fucking hate these two together but it's it's replaying situations that they've done in the past but changing the concepts to the present in the world that they're living in there's no flying in my life without you, Sabrina Spellman. Harvey, you and I had this conversation. No. No, she's, the way that she needs to do this, yeah, is turn the script over and say, you're going to say X, Y, and Z right now, and I'm going to respond with A, B, and C. And honestly, that's what she needs to do. Do you want to see the pilot? 
Heaven, yes. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? This seems my favourite. Did you see how we skipped through the intro then? Because it lasts 15 minutes long and he's like, he can't be arsed watching it as well. Big up. Oh, that's what she done to fucking um, take him from under the spell. I don't understand. Happened. Yeah, she's done that already. Cosmos. And people were watching us? Spying on us? Recording us? Just the crew. Wow, it's like the Truman Show. <laughs> it is like the Truman Show, isn't it? Where they live in present day and everybody's in on it, apart from Sabrina. And they're being filmed and it's being streamed. I can't see any more of this. I don't like watching myself perform either. <sighs> the green room. Wow, that's brutal, that, isn't it? Oh, Ambrose. You exist. That's what I'm doing here. Well, I'm. Oh, I'm making cat food, of course, for the consumption of an Eldritch Terror. Wait. Wait, what? Do you know about the Eldritch Terrors? Which Eldritch Terror is this? The Cosmic? Uh, the Endless. Which is either inside the Cosmic or vice versa. I'm not... I'm not sure which, I don't remember. The, the Endless is... Salem? Salem? I said that, Salem mate. Salem is the Endless? Hi, George, you've got it. Moreover, cats bore easily and love playing with their food. It's diabolical. Ambrose, what do we do? Do? <laughs> we, we do nothing. One with the Endless. This is your home now. Accept it. That's disgusting, that, isn't it? Oh, he brought the mirror back. I wonder if Salem doesn't know. Surely he does, though, if he's a... If he's one of them. That fur-faced thing. Up and out of bed. First alarm and everything. Is it the 14th again? No way, man. Sabrina, I'm going blind. Oh, she was, wasn't she? So sorry. We heard you were thinking. Oh, she was, didn't she? I mean, I totally forgot that storyline that she went blind. Oh, she was going blind. Is this? I'm trying to look in the mirror before she comes in. Is this um, prudence? About trying out for the chair. Hey. <laughs> Please tell us that's a joke. Yeah, you can't climb a pyramid if you can't see the pyramid. <laughs> uh, Salem's the star. He only shoots one day a week. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me. Newbies. The scene's over, so you can take those glasses off. Oh, she's actually no, going I blind. Can't. The writers decided I'm going blind. So I'm going blind. The option is any. <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. That's the way it Do you know what, right? Be. I know I'm not slagging the old actors off, but these two, Helder and Zelda, are so much better. Like, but that's probably because it's present day. I did watch Sabrina Teenage Witch back in the past and I had no problems with it. But obviously now watching these and then seeing the new ones reintroduced, I realise how much I enjoy these in this current series. Especially uh, the one on the left, man. She's a fantastic actress. Please don't eat that. In fact, don't eat anything that's intense. But a recent turn of events. I wonder if these come through when they, she did. We used to play your aunties, you know. Oh. We were big hits. Fan favourites. <laughs> Still, at least we're working. <laughs> Do you know what? It must be absolutely brutal, mustn't it? Being an actor or an actress and being like a lead star in a show and then suddenly, boom, you're now back up or you've lost your main role and you have to play a bit part. It must be hard. It must take a toll on someone's consciousness like when they experience such fame and then it gets ripped away from them. No wonder people get broke down. I reckon like this industry, man, you got to be some tough, thick-skinned person to be able to... Uh, handle the criticism and all the negative sides that comes to fame obviously the fame is the best part but i bet behind the scenes there's so much stuff that we don't know that they go through mentally that like they've got to be so strong the endless never mind oh she was testing the waters Wait, so where do you sleep under the beds so do you reckon sabrina's got a backup who sleeps under her bed as well Fucking hell. Elspeth? I was right. <laughs> Caliban, mate. Caliban? I had no idea oh. you even existed in this universe. I'm sorry, my lady, but we're not allowed to talk to the mate. cast, much less touch them. Wait. Imagine being like a like a, just a random guy, um, for example, a, a carpenter, like he looks like he is on set of a major show, and then uh, one of the stars comes over and starts giving you loads of interest. You'd be 
like you'd be shocked wouldn't you um for example and you'd probably feel a bit awkward like mate what's what's going on here like he said he's not even allowed to talk to the cast do you know what right i can't believe that's even a thing in real life that you can't talk to the main stars it's a joke man they're treating them like gods and you're like piece of shit but that's just me going off on a tangent like everybody's equal they should be allowed to speak to whoever they want if sabrina wants to speak to the carpenters wants to speak to the cleaners you know the cooks let her do it man like every person is equal <laughs> taking off my shirt and being objective. That is true. <laughs> Look at Serena's face. I get to build things. And I get to decide where and when I take my shirt off. <laughs> she wants him to do it now. He also reminds me of Chris Hemsworth. I've said it before, but he so he could be Australian, but I don't think he's American. He doesn't sound American, but he could be. But um he he's loving it, like if I was him and knew that uh, she was saying they was married in a different timeline, I would fully take advantage of it, wouldn't you? If he was, like I was saying before, a carpenter and a hit of a, a hit star for a TV show come over and said that he was married in the previous lifetime, it looks like she's definitely crushing on him. That I would take advantage of that. And I don't know who said that the actors in the crew can't mix. Exactly, that person is I dreadful. Think that's baloney. <laughs> oh, so what a guy. <laughs> what are you working on? An art gallery or something? Uh, just some sort of appliance for the next episode. We're building the void. The void? For the next episode? Caliban, you have to stop. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, you want some? <laughs> I need your help. I need to get to more script pages tonight. Will you help me? Always, Brina. Mate, no matter what your girlfriend asks you, if she says, will you help me? The answer is yes, you have to. Otherwise, you are going down a deep deep hole with that one no matter will you come outside and stand in the rain with me yeah sure love of course i will There's nothing better that i want to do like you always have to say yes if your girlfriend asks you to do something oh nicholas everything ends tomorrow the sets, wow she's gathered everyone sound stages even us so we need to find my magic mirror and get out of here do you reckon the day has changed now it's no longer the 14th Oh, it is, but the calendar's been shortened. Oh, I wonder if every time I've been looking at the ca calendar, yeah, that I've been saying, oh, it's still the 14th, it's still the 14th, but I've not actually noticed that the days have been disappearing as we're going backwards. Do you know what I mean? Because now the calendar is literally, it's got less days on it. It's still the 14th, though. I'm Harvey from now on. But what happened to the real Harvey? What He's is... not gone to the green room, surely. He got sent to the green room. Harvey got sent to the green room? The last time, Sabrina. I'm Harvey. I'm Harvey. What you may have assumed, I'm merely the director. And the only person authorized to revise the script is the head writer. You're the head writer? Why the heck do you think I get the best lines? Head writer and the endless? In it, he's like the person in Little Britain who writes the theme tune, sings the theme tune, stars in the show, writes the show, you know. Uh, <laughs> Salem's doing it all, so. In the endless. This is all exposition. I know all of this. Well, do you know that the void, the same void your crew is building, is all consuming and will devour everything? The endless. Listen, kiddo, I've been in this business a long time. There is no end. There will never be an end. What happens on page 30? There is nothing after page 29. Uh. Mr. What do you mean, drink? I've got frozen margarita. I just find it interesting that when you watch a TV show, inside a TV show, you can always tell that the actors are acting. But when you watch the normal Sabrina show, uh, you can't tell anybody's acting. Um, and it's it's perfect, fluidity conversation. But when they're speaking here, it's always like a bit robotic and it's always like dead slow. So I just think, think it's it's funny. Like, I'm supposed that they have to do that so you can tell that like, people are acting within an acting show. No one's going anywhere. Not oh, there the Aldrich guessing. Terrors. We should be any minute now. They're servants of the void. We told you. No one's getting out of here. That wall behind you, it's fake. Out of here. I know where your real mirror is. In prop storage on the other side of the sound stage. Okay, but first we have to save as many people as possible. Hilda suddenly twists her ankle. Oh, you can write the scripts and change it. That is well good. Hey, Prudence. Agatha. Don't you hear? Prudence and Agatha turn on each other. Oh, I. Oh, Caliban said. Oh, and Ambrose is dead. Who's killing them? Oh, it's Nick. Nick, you're a servant of the Void too. But for the millionth time, 
I'm Harvey. I'm Harvey. <laughs> oh, she tried to save them. Dive right through that, Sabrina. Oh, yes. Oh, no way, man. To be continued. Okay, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for checking out my channel. What a way to end, mate. With a to be continued, I'm not sure if we've had one of those in Sabrina yet or if we have, I cannot remember. But how interesting was that? So they went into the Paradox Universe and it was like a TV show itself. Every day seemed to be the 14th of October. Um, they had cast members there. That was obviously like Theo and Harvey and Nick and all that playing different people. Uh, Salem was the star of the show. He could actually talk and he, he wrote the script as well. And it turns out that the uh, the endless was coming uh, the black hole to wipe everything out of existence so um once sabrina found that out she tried to save everybody but turns out that everybody was in on it apart from a couple of the cast members that was actually devoured and killed which is brutal um she was sprinting towards the gate um not the gate sorry the the um the portal that she come through with uh, salem opened the gate and boom she dived right through the glass and i'm assuming that she's just gonna fly through the next episode back into the normal realm and into sabrina's bedroom but then what does that mean for the two worlds that are colliding is a is the path uh, still gonna be on course or are they gonna you know carry on diverting away from each other but Obviously, it turns out that she can't live in uh, in the alternate reality, so uh, she has to live in the present. But does that mean that, as that angel said when she come down before, are both souls now going to have to merge into one, or is one of them going to have to die? Because it turns out that doing the plan of uh, evicting one and taking someone into um, another realm as an offering, it didn't it didn't work out, did it? So both of them are still in the present. So that is very interesting. We've got one more episode left, and I'm going to jump in and I'm going to uh, I'm going to record that for you guys. So hopefully you do enjoy it. Thanks for clicking on my video today. We'll really do appreciate it. Smash the like on the button and uh, subscribe if you're new. And as always, have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video.